So here's the answer. The chief financial officer is more than likely the economic buyer. The saboteur might actually be the existing business intelligence group inside of IT or the CIO's department who's actually trying to already build the software and they might be afraid they're going to lose their jobs. So in every major organization you might find people who actually don't want or actively attempt to block a sale. The CIO uh, is more than likely the decision maker. In some organizations they can actually sign off on uh, large uh, deals, but in this case the chief information officer was actually going to recommend to the chief financial officer that they buy this software. The report users, the people who actually use the product, in this case are just simply uh, the influencers. And that's kind of interesting to remember because uh, sometimes as entrepreneurs we forget that the people who use our product are not necessarily the people who even pay for or even recommend the product. And in this case, the recommenders were probably the line of business management. That is, those users worked for um, a line of business, a division or a department, and uh, the influencers, the people who were used it, said to their bosses, we'd really like to have the software, this would work great. And their managers, who didn't have any signature authority or couldn't actually install software, recommended that this actually get bought. Understanding this ecosystem is really important, not only in business-to-business -business sales, but sometimes business-to-consumer sales as well.